What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. As everyone and their mom knows, Modern Warfare 3 is just around the corner and the beta is knocking at our front door. This game has a ton of hype, a ton of potential, and has made a ton of promises. Don't. Don't give me hope. One thing that most players, including myself, are extremely excited for is the fact that at launch, not drip fed throughout the year, but at launch, we will be getting 16 multiplayer maps, all of which will be Modern Warfare 2 maps remastered and reimagined, on top of more original ones. Now, I say reimagined because they are adjusting some things, like they're adding some objects to mantle on, providing more cover, etc., etc. But the devs claim they're keeping it as close to the original as possible. And that's a good thing. Although there's something that worries me and I've been thinking about it a lot. It's been keeping me up at night. I lay there in bed, just rolling, tossing and turning, thinking and stressing about how and why Activision could possibly mess up something as simple as just remaking fan favorite maps. One of the biggest issues with Modern Warfare 2 2022 multiplayer wise was the maps were ass. This is no secret. There were some outliers, but all in all, the maps were very subpar. My biggest concern is that these, the OG maps, will be ruined in Modern Warfare 3. And now let me explain why. I recently did a tier list on all the Modern Warfare 2 maps, and after I posted that video, I did some more thinking and realized that from a technical standpoint, these maps were pretty bad. They were all pretty large maps with a lot of useless spaces. They didn't have actual lanes and they were all very favored towards one side for the most part. Now, the reason in the original Modern Warfare 2 that those factors didn't matter was because of how the game was. The mechanics, the movement, the spawns were sticky, meaning that they didn't flip right when an enemy sneezed towards the spawn. Even though the maps were big, it didn't feel that way because you never really spawned out or randomly behind someone. They weren't random. You knew exactly where the enemy was going to spawn from, and it wasn't from your flag. I think this could be a downfall to these maps in this next Call of Duty because the spawns nowadays are terrible. They flip, they encourage revenge killing, and they really are random. If you take the spawning system we had this year and put it in on these old maps that really already are not structured the best, I think it could be pretty bad news for the community. A map like Quarry or Afghan could easily turn into a map where you're running to look for an enemy and with how Activision sets up their, their weapon challenges, rarely do people play the objective anyway, which will just encourage the fact that you're going to have to be searching for players to fight. So many people, myself included, hype up these older Call of Duty maps to players who didn't get to experience them in their heyday and I'm afraid that this spawn system is going to ruin them. Obviously I want this game to be a success. I want to enjoy playing on these maps and I really am optimistic. But I wouldn't be surprised if in three months older fans are complaining about how Activision ruined these maps and if younger players claim they were overhyped and lackluster. Let me know what you guys think below. Do you think that these maps will play as well as they did before? Do you understand or agree with my point? Let me know and drop a like to support the channel. Consider subscribing for future content and I'll see you later. Deuces.